www.88beats.com Beats Graphics Graphics Studio Design Studio Design We do it all, baby. All right, you guys. This is Bones. I'm going to show you guys um, a cool little effect in in uh, Photoshop. I got Photoshop open here. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, the glossiness, how I get text glossy, how do I make the shine effect, blah, blah, blah. So I assume this is what you guys are talking about. I'm going to go ahead and start open. Uh, I'm just going to open up something new. I'm, I'm using Windows. I'm going to hit Control N. That's the shortcut here for new. I'm just going to make this, say you're making a logo, you want it fairly big. Let's make this 2000 by 2000 just to start out. Okay, so what I always do, now I, I this is how my, my setup is, this is just my workflow. Now if you want the ruler on, um, I'm pretty sure you just hit R or you can go into, I think it's in, uh, where is it, man, I don't even know where it's at. Try to find it here for you. Might be in Windows. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I get the ruler open. I think. I think what I do is I just hit. No, that wasn't it. Yeah, it's Control R. So you're gonna hit Control, hit R. That that closes the rulers, brings them open. I always use rulers because it helps me center things. So I put. Two little adjust or two helping lines, guiding lines, whatever you want to call them, keeps my stuff centered. Now all I'm doing to put these blue lines here is I'm going up in the ruler part, clicking and holding with with the left click, and then I'm just gonna drag down wherever I want. Um, it should snap right into the middle when you hit the center, like mine did. It's at 1,000 by 1,000. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna try to do this quick for you guys too as well. Um, I'm gonna watch the time here, make sure I can. I could do it under five minutes or so. I want to stick around five minutes. So I'm going to make this text. Let's just make it at 250 or so, and we can make it bigger. Now I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to do a simple, a simple font. I just want to demonstrate how you can get the gloss effect. And um, it's very, very simple on how you can do it. So I just want to show you guys that mainly I'm not gonna do nothing too fancy with this that's the text I'm gonna use so what I'm gonna do with this though I'm gonna I'm gonna change the colors here I'm gonna make this color the red, red seems to be popular so let's just go with like a like kind of like a off red there now make it a saturated red like that's gonna help it's going to help um, make glossy effect in the end now to hide the the help lines you just hit control H and that's gonna get rid of them I only use those to center up my stuff and then I kind of move them out of my way uh, let's put a bevel bevel on there and then when you hit this bevel option oh and sorry I'm moving fast what I did here is I just double clicked off to the side on my channel double click opens up the effects on the layer style check your bevel what I do is I do a pillow and em em emboss or emboss whatever the hell that is um, I'm going to just eyeball it all this is doing is making an outside line you see how it turns white you want it to have a glossy finish to it so making it like that's gonna help next thing I'm putting a drop shadow on change this to 90 degrees I want it to drop directly down below if you see what I mean it's gonna go down it's not gonna go to the side now I'm gonna make this open up the spread a little bit let's put that at hundred percent there I'm gonna do something pretty heavy like that. I mean, whatever. Whatever your guys' personal taste is, whatever you're going for, I'm just demonstrating here. Now, gradient, this is important. Now we're gonna do gradient. You can already see it's kind of giving it like a metallic or shiny look. We're gonna, after we check gradient, I'm gonna click right here on this color wheel. I'm going to do the next option, which is black. And it's gonna, what it's gonna do, it's gonna take your your foreground color right here. So if this happens to be red and you click that, it comes up red, just double click these and then you can change the color to whatever you want. Now after that's done there, you can open this up a bit like so. I'm not gonna do too much, I'm gonna do it like that. Click and drag it down whenever you wanna move it. Like so, opacity, bring it down just like so. See now you can already see there's, there's a nice little effect there. It almost looks like 
the light is shining down from here. So keep that in mind too when you're record or sorry when you're um, when you're doing this kind of effect with a drop shadow. You're gonna have the light source coming from above, and you're gonna have the drop shadow coming from the other side. So it's it's just some little thing, you know. Paying attention to details, all. Uh, now the next part is that's that's cool. You, you can actually in the effects part as well. Outer glow, you can check this, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna open up a glow thing, and you can make this more of like a glow. So that way, when you put a, say, if you change the background to something black. You can see it's glowing. That's too harsh of a glow. That's too harsh of a glow for my liking, but actually I'm gonna change this to, to an off-white. That looks better. So now the glow doesn't look so bad, but for me, I'm not gonna put the glow on there. I just want it left off. All right, so ne next part, here's the important part. The text things, whatever. Um, next part here is down below I'm pretty sure my my screen recording things not capturing all of my screen I just realized that so I'm gonna bring this like that okay so down here you got this page right here this is um creating a new layer I'm gonna click that creates a new layer I'm gonna title this one gloss okay now this is gonna be the main gloss that's gonna be hovering over now while this channel is highlighted I'm gonna go up here to the to the marquee selection tool now if you click and hold you can see there's the circle whatever I'm gonna go rectangle marquee now up here this is an important part I have the third box clicked right here so make sure that that one's highlighted if you don't see these controls up here like I do I'm sorry I can't help you there I have no idea how to even get those there I'm pretty sure when you right click or something they pop up but yeah mine are just there so I'm gonna assume you have these here and I'm gonna assume you know how to get these so while that's good I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna highlight just the text part. So I'm gonna hold control. While holding control, you'll see this little box pop up down there where my mouse is. And I'm gonna click on the giant T where it says your name. Click, now it selects just the text. Now I always use shortcuts, so that's all I'm showing you is shortcuts. Now with that selected and I'm on the gloss channel, I'm going to click, drag, hold. I'm gonna drag up, yeah, just about half or so, like right there. Okay, now half of that's covered. I'm gonna grab the paint the paint bucket. I'm gonna switch it to gradient. Now I got gradient and I got white. Make sure you're on selected. You're selected to white. Now after that's selected, I make sure my channel's still selected down here, the gloss channel. I'm gonna go to the center and I'm gonna click, hold, drag the gradient up, just like that. Now to unselect, you're gonna hold control and hit D. That D selects it. So there you got it. You got a gloss, your name, whatever your logo is. And to give it more of an effect, you can move this down a bit like that. So it gives it more of a beveled edge. And then I'm going to drop the opacity. I mean, you can make it just a little bit of a gloss like so, or you can really shine things up like so. That looks about good. So another thing you can do is I'm going to clone this your name thing. So hold control and then hit J while you got this selected control J. That copies it. Now I'm going to rename this copy to reflection. And I'm going to take off the effects. This is important. Take off all the effects. Mute that. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Hold shift and click the reflection. Make sure both are highlighted. And then you're going to hit control E. That merged them. Now I'm going to rename this again reflection. And if you're losing me, it's fine. Just pause the video and, you know. So now with this reflection held open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it below and then I'm going to I'm going to put a reflection on the bottom of this. So we're going to go edit, transform, flip vertical. It makes it upside down. Drop this below the other channels so it's in the background. Now with my erase tool right here, I'm going to make this bigger. Let's make this erase tool about 500. Now I'm going to erase the bottom half of this. Just, just till you get it to a point to where you don't see the ends. Make sure your opacity is at 100 as well. See, that way it just doesn't show the ends. I'm going to take this opacity down a little bit more here. 
and there you got it you got a glossy your name or whatever you're gonna put there creates a simple simple logo um, and of course at the end you can crop this and then crop this out Boom, done. Now, say you wanna make the whole, you wanna do another gloss gloss layer and you wanna kinda of make it more of a reflective on the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is here is I'm gonna make another gloss channel and then on this gloss channel, I'm gonna grab this marquee tool again and I'm just gonna take about half of this. Sorry about that, it's my phone. I'm gonna take half of this, highlight it just like so get the get the gradient tool again same thing without anything else highlighted and we got a gradient hovering over the entire thing now what I do with this gloss is I hit uh, hit control T to transform put it off to the side make it bigger like that and then now you got a gloss that overlays the entire thing which is a cool effect. If I take off the other one, it's still got a gloss here. And there you have it. Those are some simple simple tricks I use to to create glossy glossy fonts and to do a gloss foreground like so to kind of make things pop out more. It may it makes it overall it makes it look more professional rather than just having no effects on your text. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions. Just post them down below and let me know when you guys, you know, what you guys think about it. Um, if I did move too fast, maybe I'll make another video for people that are beginners in in uh, Photoshop. Um, yeah, man. If you guys, if you guys need anything else, any other videos, I'm uh, I got a ton of requests, so I'm going to be releasing videos over the next six weeks. Um, I'll probably drop a video every other day or every every few days or so. And uh, so definitely subscribe to this channel. I do I do tutorials in in um, recording softwares. I do graphics. Uh, I do mixing and mastering. I do a lot of stuff. So it's it's great to stay updated with our channel and see what see what kind of stuff we got going on. Definitely, if you guys have a request for anything in Photoshop and you want to know how I do anything or you want to know some simple tricks, just hit me up. I'll make a video uh, and we'll and we'll just go from there, man. So thanks guys for watching.